Hello, my name is Leanne Kretsch. I'm here to tell you about my felt making. I'm a non-traditional felt maker and it started out with people putting wool into their boots and, and producing slippers and then they put wool under their saddles and they made blankets. Now it's become an art form and people are making it functional pieces as well as wearable art pieces. So I'm here to tell you about my wearable art pieces. The, um, I'm wearing what I call a Florida jacket. So just a little bit of silk combined with a wool to produce a wearable piece of art. It could also be a tapestry, it could also be a table runner. But I'm taking wool fibers, wool before it's spun into yarn, using hot water soap and agitation, and forcing the fibers through the silk so that they adhere. These two dresses are made in a non-traditional way. They are not stitched, they are sculptural pieces. So the entire piece is made through combining the wool and the silk and, and sculpting it the way that you would almost clay. So I'm starting with a piece that is laid out two-dimensionally to create a three-dimensional wearable piece of art. Same technique, hot water, soap, and agitation. For the agitation, I'm using different techniques. I can be using sometimes a dryer, which will bounce it around to create the agitation. Sometimes I'm using a sander, which also helps to force those fibers through the silk. This piece in particular was commissioned by the Appleton Art Museum. It's an inspirational piece. It's based upon a piece out of their permanent collection, which is this large Chinese basin, porcelain basin. It took three men to move it. It's just gigantic. It's gorgeous. And um, the piece is designed to look like porcelain. There's 14 Godet panels in it, which give it this beautiful flair. The entire thing is covered in a web of silk, so that web of silk mimics the, the look of the, and feel of the porcelain. And then the flowers are stitched on it, so when I said there was no stitching, it really is no stitching in the construction, but stitching to add the surface design texture. So they were added to replicate just the, the feel and the look of the, the porcelain basin. This piece is also very unique in that it is made kind of like a puzzle. So all the design and the color come from creating pieces that are then felt together. So again, no stitching, but they are felted together, cut up, and that's how I create the, the, the color. It's more of a tulip design, meaning that the godets are at the bottom of the piece. The godets are what give it the flair. So if you're, if you're a, a sewer, you know what a godet is, but for those that don't, they're the triangular pieces that are put in to give the piece the flair. They're at the bottom so that they just have this kind of a, 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 a flare at the bottom. I'm going to show you one more piece. This piece is made with vintage fabric, so I'm taking dresses that I'm cutting apart and taking all of the wool, I take all the nice bits out of the dresses, add a layer of wool to behind them, and using that same puzzle technique where I'm piecing them together to create the design and the pattern. This is a, a large wrap. Could again be a table runner, could be a tapestry, could be just used for a number of different different uh, purposes. The elements that are in the center of it are made using viscose fibers. So the viscose sits on top of the wool, so it gives it a really incredible sheen. And then rounding on the outside, both are plant-based fibers. Then the surface design and the texture is created by adding silk onto the outside of it as well. So combining wool and silk, as well as other natural fibers in order to create this piece. Thank you.